All right, we have uh, some mail. Whoops. All right, I saved it. A little more careful there. What you want to see is this. It's a Tom Talk. Okay, so specifically, this is a nine liter Tom Talk. This is the Explore A54 crossbody sling. Nine liter. I did not get the seven liter, I got the nine liter. Just because whenever we go to Disney World, I kind of want to use this instead of a regular backpack. All right, there you go. There is the A54 crossbody nine liter Tom Talk versus, I wouldn't even say versus. Like it's not a versus. This is just another smaller bag to keep around for quick trips where I don't need the low pro. Now low pro, if you're wondering, is the BP 250 AW3. I was reading that off. That's, I would never have remembered that. So here's a comparison of the two. Of course, low pro is a lot larger. The low pro doesn't get used as often anymore because I don't have a DSLR anymore, but I still use it because it does fit my laptop very well. And it does have a lot of storage because of all the storage that it has at the top and then the camera stuff you can put in the bottom. But let's put this to the side. There, okay. Okay, so here's the Tom Talk. It is a lot smaller, a lot more portable, and it looks very, uh, very nice, actually. I don't know why it doesn't have a buckle. Maybe it's inside. We're gonna look. Oh, yes. Paper, and there's the buckle. All right, y'all, so let's get this set up. I have, hmm, let's see, this, and then it does have some adjustability. So you can just adjust it to your desired length. And then let me show you what will fit in here. Because the main reason I got this is because I have an iPad Pro 11 inch, I believe it's 11 inch, uh, the one with an M1 chip. And that's kind of almost like my new laptop in a way. I use it to edit all my YouTube videos. It's just a lot more convenient to send from my phone to the tablet, or sometimes if I just wait till the next day, they're already uploaded into iCloud and it just downloads. So I really use my laptop more for like, business stuff, I guess. And then the iPad is more like creativity and stuff like that, which is totally cool. And it's supposed to fit in this. So let's check out all the gadget areas and buttons and stuff. Okay, guys, we're gonna start on the front. So on the front of this bag, you have a nice little side pocket. Probably fits my hand, maybe two of my hands in there. And there is a little red strap to connect your keys or whatever you have with you. Nice, it's very, very secured in there. Stick that back in there. You have these little side clips. I wouldn't even call them clips. They're just kind of like side uh, nylon straps and you can hang stuff from there. One on the left, one on the right. Nothing on the bottom. On the back, before we go into the actual backpack, on the back we have a back pocket. And this one, Wow, this is actually a good size. I could put my wallet, I could put my AirPods, I could put my phone in here, and it would all fit snugly and not be too bulky, I think. And it's very padded too, as is this top portion right here as well. Okay, let's look inside of this thing real quick. So when you open it up, here is the front over here, front of the bag, and it looks like you have a little water bottle holder and that would probably hold like a bottle of water not anything too big so you probably wouldn't be able to fit like a huge yeti or anything in there but it will hold some water i don't know how i'd feel if i had this in with my electronics but it is there and you could put other devices in there as well that would even fit a phone pretty good and then you have this front pocket this is not too big it's uh, i can fit like half my hand in there this would fit something like your AirPods, a small wallet. If you had an iPhone mini, it would fit that. And there's some breathing mesh here at the top. You can see my fingers right there. And there's also breathing mesh right here. So it is breathable. So if you put your phone in there and stuff, that would actually kind of, you know, keep it a little ventilated. And then near the very bottom, nothing. We have a lot of empty space, but this is not too bad because you could totally fit. You could probably fit a small Sony mirrorless can, I would say in there and maybe put like a lens in here if you go that route. But you totally have room in here if you don't have anything huge. Lots of, I would, I mean, that's a lot of room for me. And then on this other side, on the back side, you have a smaller pocket. It is one of those mesh pockets that we had over here. And we have, mm, this might be what would fit the iPad. I'm gonna grab my iPad here in a bit and we'll test that out. And then this part is actually quite thick. I'm wondering if a 13 or 14 inch MacBook would fit in this area. I don't have, oh, actually I do. Let me go get Molly's MacBook real quick. So here is iPad, iPad Pro. This is iPad Pro with the Mac One and a Logitech case combo unit. So we're gonna see if that fits into the smaller pocket. Yes, perfect fit. Look at that, look at that. Okay, and then the next item that I have is a MacBook. My wife's 13 inch MacBook Pro M1. Oh my gosh, and it does. So there you have 
If you do have a 13 inch, I think maybe, maybe a 14 inch might fit. Actually, it just so happens guys that I have a Dell Latitude 3420, which is a 14 inch small windows. Let's see if that will fit in here. Ooh, it's a little snug. I'm feeling some resistance. Okay, so here's the problem. It does fit. You can see it fits in there, but it's right at the edge of the zipper. This does not go down. The strap does not go down at all to reach it, but it will zip. It will zip. Okay, so here's what you have when you have a 14 inch Windows laptop in there. It's quite heavy, but it fits. All right, so we're gonna take the 14 inch out and let's put the MacBook back in. Perfect fit. Perfect fit. It's really meant for a 13 inch MacBook. It will Velcro right there. You can still put some items in here. You can close it and there's no toughness. There's no stretching on the edges. Everything's nice and compact in there and safe. A nice thing too is that it does have two hook points for the strap. So depending on what side you want to wear it on, you can hook it on either side you want to, tighten it, and then you're ready to go. The amazing thing is look how compact this is compared to something compared to something like this. All right guys, here's what it looks like with it on. Depending on how you want to wear it, I have mine going across and it is not heavy at all. Like it is for a backpack, I'm completely fine with the weight that it has on it. All right guys, and that is gonna be it. I'm super impressed with the size and the quality. It feels very good quality. And from what I read, it also has some water protection on it to keep your devices safe from the rain. I totally recommend it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions about the Tom Talk, hit me up. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new, and thank you. See you in the next video. Goodbye.